can we, we can keep each other company? so many things to share with you guys so let's get into it first I found these little ice cube trays and I've been looking for something similar to this what I thought about using these for is for like little paint palettes for when the kids are doing artwork this summer I thought these would be easy to clean out one thing that I like about them as far as using for ice cubes or little gelatin cubes or whatnot is that these are rubber on the bottom so you can just pop them right out so that seemed easy and then I also bought these that have the rectangular bottoms to them and I thought that these would be really easy to also use as little miniature earring trays because you could get both fingers in there pull out a little set of earrings so I thought that would be really cute inside of a drawer or whatnot if you needed extra jewelry storage I also picked up a few other things for the kitchen. I just got some more sponges. I like to get these and just dispose of them pretty often so they don't build up bacteria. And then I also finally found these little cute clips. I thought these were so adorable. My daughter liked those, so we grabbed some of those. I also grabbed some other snacks that we had not seen before. I got these little bare naked bars, and I had not ever seen these or any of the ones that are similar to this. I got these dried pineapples. My husband loves pineapple. And then my son was finally able to find the little crackers that he had been looking for. He really enjoys these. That's Galaxy making a little cameo in the background. And then, let's see, I finally found some of the Pop-Tarts, but the only ones they had were the whole grain fudge ones. So I thought we'd just give them a try. My kids don't really eat Pop-Tarts very much, so they'll probably be very excited about those. And then these are the little cocoa puffs. My daughter really enjoyed those the last time I grabbed them. So, And then we got some more prunes. We really enjoy prunes. My kids have always loved prunes since they were little babies and they're really nutritious. So we like to keep those on hand. They are very sweet though. So if you're diabetic or whatnot, you can't eat too many of them at one time, but they're really healthy for you. I got a new little book for the kids. They had quite a few new books and I'll show those to you in another haul because they've already run off to their rooms with them to start reading, but I found this one. And then I found some more pens. I was gonna include some things in a giveaway, so I got these pens. We really like them. They're scented and they actually do smell pretty good. I remember having scented things when I was little, so I always like to grab stuff like that. And I got another one of those jewel pens. These are the red and white polka dot ribbons for like the tie on the balloons and things like that. I'm gonna be doing a red and white party later this year. So I went ahead and grabbed a few of those. And they had this pretty little tape. This is for like a 4th of July thing, but I thought it was such a pretty plaid. And then I also got one in this iridescent purple. It's almost like polka dots, but they're all like iridescent embossed into the tape and I thought what a pretty thing for some packages I'm going to be sending out so I got some of those. I'd bought these a while back and then I saw them again so I went ahead and grabbed some more. There's three cents in here and then these are just the peppermint ones and I thought these would be cute to give out to the teachers at the beginning of the year as well. The teachers can always use extra hand sanitizer so I thought I'd get some of those. I found some self eking stampers also. This one just says thank you. And this one says handmade with love. I love that one, that's my favorite. And then this one says XOXO, which I thought was super cute, so I got that. And then I hit the mother load of makeup, like literally. And I'm gonna be doing, my next video up is gonna be the swatches that I've been promising you guys. I'm glad I was able to find so much at this time so that I can do it all at once for you guys. So let's start with what's not the Fergie collection first. I found this e.l.f. shimmer gloss. I thought that was so pretty. I think this would be a pretty color on top of another color, especially for me. I'm a little bit pale to wear such an, a peachy shade like that, but that will be gorgeous on top of another color. And then I found this Milani shadow. I had not picked up this blue one the last time that I grabbed those other Milani shadows. And I went back to that same store that had like 20 something colors nothing left except blue and like a grayish silver but it wasn't very pigmented it looked like so i just got this one and then i found this elf trio i thought that was a pretty little trio 
It's got a very shimmery white shade and then the silver metallic and the blue. So I'll be swatching all of that within my next video also. And then I found another e.l.f. smudge pot. This one's in the color Cruisin' Chick, and I've heard really good things about this one, so I'm interested to how this pays off versus my Maybelline color tattoo that's in a similar color to this. So we'll see about that. And then I found a few nail polishes that were new. This is the Lavender Cream. I have this also in the Lavender Sparkly color, but this is a cream color, so I went ahead and picked that up. And then I got these two colors. This is like a bright pink. It almost looks red in this lighting, but it's a bright pink. And then what a gorgeous royal blue. I don't have any colors like that in my collection, so I went ahead and grabbed that. And then this one's more of a wine burgundy-ish color. And then the blue that comes with it has sparkles in it. I don't know if you can see it in this lighting, but I'll try. And then I found so many of these eyeliners. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing one right now. I'm wearing the black, which I love. I think I'm gonna go back and grab a few more. I never can have too many black eyeliners. So these are the five colors that I picked up. So there's a white, a purple, a brown, a turquoise blue, and then the black. And I'm not sure if you can see what I'm wearing, but I'll close my eyes so you can see that. And these are all furby colors that I have on right now. Then I was also able to pick up some lipsticks. I got five different colors that I thought were just gorgeous and I think these will all work with my skin tone. Today I'm wearing this color, it's called Ferguson Crest Cabernet. And it's wearing pretty well. Um, it's a little dry for me, but I think it should work throughout the day. And then there's another one called Divinely Chilled and it's more of a deeper burgundy wine. The one I have on has a more fuchsia undertone to it. And there's actually another fuchsia color that's actually a bright pink. This one's called Fuchsia Nista. And as I said, I'll be doing swatches in my next video for you guys. This one's called VI Pink. And then here we have Saragina, which is a really bright, true red. I'm interested to see how that comes across on my skin tone. And then I only got two of the matte lip colors. I don't really care for dry lip products. Um, I tend to go more towards stains that are more like balm stains. So I didn't get any of the glosses that were stain glosses. To me, sometimes they just agitate my lips, so I didn't want to try those. So I have these, and this one's in the color Standout, and this one's in the color Pinky Candy. I saw a lot of people get this one, so I'm interested to see also if this will work on my skin tone. The good thing for me, I was able to pick up so many items and whatever doesn't work for me will probably work for one of my sisters. Both of them are much more olive skin tone than I am. So we run the gamut on skin types. I have one sister that has dark hair and brown eyes. Then I have another sister that has blonde hair and blue eyes. And then there's me with my reddish, brownish, I don't even know how many color hair <laughs> and green eyes. Well, my eyes change colors all the time. Actually, they go from green to blue to gray, but the standard color is normally green. I don't know what color they are today. I guess I'll look back on this camera. It's hard to see in this light, but who knows. Next, I have this On Edge Lip Pencil, and this is the only one that I could find, but it looked like a gorgeous pink, and this just is called X Stacy. Then I was also able to find three primers for your eyeshadow. This one is called a Take on the Day Primer in A Little Party. I don't know if you can see the color there, but that looks more pink. But then they have the exact same thing that's called A Little Party, but it's more of a beige gold color. So I'm interested when I do my swatches to see if those are the same or not. And then there's just a plain one here. It looks like it's got a little color to it, but it doesn't look as shimmery. It's called For My Primas. I guess they mean like Prima Ballerinas. I don't know. And then I found a concealer. I don't see the color on this. We'll see it when I swatch it in a minute. Um, but this is just the fairest one that they had. I also found a BB cream there. And I've been looking for a new BB cream. We'll see how this one works. I have it on today. It doesn't look too orangey on my skin tone. So I'll see if it oxidizes and turns a little bit more orange. It's a little bit yellow for my skin tone. But I may be able to pull it off. And then I found these two blushes. I think they have one more shade, but it was definitely a lot more brown. 
but it was like an orangey brown, so it wouldn't work for me as a bronzer. But this was kind of a peach color, and then this one's a beautiful bright pink. I'm sure you would need to be light-handed with this, but I mean, look how much product you get here. This is an amazing deal for a dollar. I can't even believe it. Where were all these products back when I had like zero money when I was starting college and could barely afford an eyeliner? <laughs> Now you find everything for a dollar. That's amazing to me. All right, so next up we have some eyeshadow. And these aren't even quads. These have five. They actually have an extra color in the middle. So these two, let's see. This one is Mixing Metals. And in case you guys are looking at the store that I just saw the name is right there on the very bottom of this. In case you're not wanting to open them, some of them you might be giving as gifts or whatnot. And then this one is called... Blue-Eyed Soul, and that has a gorgeous shade of blue in it. That looks similar to that Fergie nail polish I just showed. And then I got one more of the eyeshadows. They had two or three more. They had one that had like a bright terracotta orange, which would be gorgeous on someone with an olive skin tone. Not so much for me, but <laughs> um, I grabbed this one because even though I might not use a lot of these colors normally, these look like they're going to be matte shades, and I thought that was very interesting because most of them have so much shimmer. And then this, what an amazing deal. I'm wearing some of this palette today, and it is just gorgeous on. The colors in here are so pigmented. The color payoff is amazing. So for a dollar, you cannot beat that. This is a 10-piece shadow palette, and the colors are right up my alley. I love anything purple. This is kind of a shimmery, like, rose gold, so I don't have any colors like that in my collection. I'm interested to see that in a minute when I swatch all these colors for you guys. Then I also found two eyeliners. I think they had maybe a blue color and a brown color as well, but I'm just learning to use gel eyeliner, so I wasn't going to get too many of those. I did grab a few purple because I'll give one to my sister as well. And then I found this powder. This is the mattifying powder, which normally I stay pretty dry, so I don't use powder that much, but I had seen a few girls haul this and they seemed happy with it. So in the summers in Florida, I may be able to use it. If not, I can pass it on to one of my sisters, but I went ahead and grabbed one of those to try. And then the last item, finally, I grabbed these two mascaras. Today I'm wearing the silver one, and I'm not that impressed with it, but for hey, for a dollar, I'm impressed. <laughs> It'll be good to like run out when I'm going to pick up the kids in carpool or something, or if I'm running off to the store or something and just want something simple, but it's definitely not a dramatic mascara. My, I look today as a little bit more dramatic, of course, so I wanted something a little bit more va va -voom, but maybe I should have tried this gold one, so we'll see on that, and I'll let you know. All right, everyone, that is a whole lot of makeup to look at, and so I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm going to start filming that other video now and let you guys see all these great swatches. Thanks. Bye-bye.